Have you ever abandoned a book after a dull first chapter? We've all been there. A captivating introduction acts like a welcoming hand, drawing your audience into the heart of your story. It sets the stage, sparks curiosity, and promises an engaging journey ahead. But what makes a good introduction? How can you hook your readers from the very first sentence? Throughout this essay, we'll explore techniques for writing captivating introductions that will leave your readers spellbound. So, are you ready to transform your writing from ho-hum to extraordinary? Let's dive in. Think of each section of your writing as a mini journey. Each section needs its own compelling introduction to set the scene and guide the reader. Begin by summarizing the previous section's main takeaway, then seamlessly transition into the new topic by posing a thought-provoking question. For example, imagine you're writing about the benefits of meditation. You've just finished a section discussing the science behind mindfulness. You could transition into the next section about different meditation techniques with an introduction like this. We've seen how meditation can physically alter our brains, reducing stress and improving focus. But how do we actually meditate? This technique not only improves the flow of your writing, but also makes it more engaging and accessible to your audience. Have you ever noticed how a well-placed question can make you pause and reflect? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They act as conversation starters, inviting your readers to actively participate in the unfolding narrative. Effective questions are clear, concise, and directly relevant to the topic at hand. They should spark curiosity, challenge assumptions, or invite the reader to consider a new perspective. Instead of asking, what is your perspective on the socio-economic implications of artificial intelligence? You could ask, will robots take our jobs? The second question is shorter, simpler, and more likely to elicit an immediate emotional response. Remember, the goal is to spark a conversation, not to intimidate your audience with your vocabulary. What are some questions that have made you stop and think deeply? Share your examples in the comments below, in. Now that you understand the importance of asking engaging questions, let's explore how to seamlessly integrate them into your writing. The key is to use questions strategically to guide your reader through your narrative and enhance their understanding of the topic. One effective technique is to pose a question at the beginning of a section or paragraph to introduce a new concept or idea. For example, you could start a section about the benefits of exercise with a question like, did you know that just 30 minutes of moderate exercise a day can significantly improve your health and well-being? Another approach is to use questions throughout your writing to break up long blocks of text and create a more conversational tone. By strategically weaving questions into your narrative, you create a more engaging and interactive reading experience for your audience. How do you feel when a writer directly addresses you with a question? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Why are questions so effective in captivating readers? The answer lies in our innate human curiosity. Our brains are wired to seek answers and solve puzzles. By strategically incorporating questions into your writing, you tap into this natural curiosity, transforming passive readers into active participants. Questions encourage critical thinking, spark debate, and invite your audience to engage with your content on a deeper level. Moreover, questions can create a sense of intimacy and connection between the writer and the reader. By fostering a sense of shared exploration and discovery, 
you create a more engaging and rewarding reading experience for your audience. What are some of your favourite books or articles that have effectively used questions to engage your curiosity? Share your recommendations in the comments below. Posing thought-provoking questions is only half the battle when it comes to keeping your readers engaged. The other crucial element is providing clear, concise and satisfying answers. Failing to address the questions you raise can leave your audience feeling frustrated and unfulfilled. Answering your readers' questions demonstrates respect for their time and intelligence, solidifying their trust in you as a writer. When answering questions, strive for clarity and conciseness. Avoid overwhelming your readers with unnecessary jargon or overly complex explanations. Support your answers with evidence, examples or anecdotes to make them more compelling and memorable. Remember, your goal is to provide your readers with a sense of closure and satisfaction, leaving them feeling enlightened and eager to learn more. Have you ever read a piece of writing that left you with more questions than answers? How did it make you feel? Share your experiences in the comments below. You've written a captivating piece filled with thought-provoking questions and well-researched answers. Your readers are hooked. Now what? Don't let the conversation end there. Encourage further engagement by incorporating clear and compelling calls to action throughout your writing. A call to action is a direct invitation for your readers to take a specific action, such as leaving a comment, sharing the article on social media, or subscribing to your newsletter. By prompting your audience to take action, you transform them from passive observers into active participants, fostering a sense of community and encouraging ongoing dialogue. When crafting calls to action, be specific and concise. Additionally, personalize your calls to action whenever possible. What are some effective calls to action you've encountered in your own reading? Share your examples in the comments below. Calls to action are an excellent way to encourage interaction, but there are other valuable tools at your disposal for gathering feedback and fostering a sense of community among your readers. Surveys, polls and quizzes are all effective methods for engaging your audience and gaining valuable insights into their thoughts, preferences and experiences. Surveys allow you to gather detailed feedback on specific topics, providing valuable data that can help you improve your writing and better tailor your content to your audience's needs. Polls offer a quick and easy way to gauge your readers' opinions on a particular issue, while quizzes can be a fun and interactive way to test their knowledge and encourage them to learn more. When incorporating surveys, polls or quizzes into your writing, remember to keep them concise and relevant to your topic. By providing a platform for your audience to share their thoughts and opinions, you create a more engaging and interactive reading experience that fosters a sense of community and encourages ongoing dialogue. We're curious to hear your thoughts. Would you be willing to participate in a brief survey about your experience reading this essay? Your feedback is invaluable to us. Mastering the art of writing. Engaging introductions for every section is an essential skill for any writer who wants to captivate their audience and keep them hooked from start to finish. By incorporating thought-provoking questions, providing clear and concise answers, and encouraging interaction through calls to action and surveys, you can transform your writing from passive to interactive, fostering a sense of community and encouraging ongoing dialogue. Remember, writing is not a one-way street. It's a conversation between you and your reader. By inviting your audience to actively participate in the unfolding narrative, 
you create a more engaging, enriching and ultimately more meaningful reading experience. So, as you embark on your next writing adventure, keep these tips in mind and never underestimate the power of a well-crafted question. After all, the best conversations are often sparked by a simple inquiry.